Hello, people. My name is Rage, and welcome, one and all, to a ma- That is a ceiling. Ooh, spooky. Welcome to my tunnel of terror. <laughs> a brutal series of obstacles that will test every inch of a Minecraft player's skill to its very limit. If any of our four contestants manage to make it to the end first and press the button of glory, they shall receive a real prize. However, I would be surprised if any of them made it even halfway before running out of their three lives. <laughs> yes, this obstacle course really is that evil. Now, for those of you that have seen the game show and are thinking, what's going on? And for those of you that are thinking, shouldn't this be quick build I'm watching right now? I will explain at the end what I am doing, and then for everyone, this is very much an experiment for me in terms of the format and stuff like that, so I would love to know your feedback on this episode, let me know what you liked, let me know what you didn't, and maybe we can turn this into a real proper thing, because I think the Tunnel of Terror is awesome, and because it takes a year and a half between game show apps, I would love to just use this and have a load of fun, because I think it is great. So without further ado, without further ado, without further ado, let's do- I, I realise ironically, to sing about without further ado, I am further doing, so I'm going to go- well, I'm not going to go anywhere, I need to stay here because I'm doing- I'm just going to start, okay, because soon I will cry. Three, two, one, GP! Also known as Go, today's contestants are Mr. Zippy, Geonosian Warrior, Pengback, and Kuraksu. Every week, there will, of course, be four of you guys participating, so if you wish to be victorious and claim the Hall of Fame glory and go down in the history books, then I'd get practicing. Geonosian Warrior, however, did not take that advice and manages to fall on the first easy, simple parkour challenge and loses a life almost immediately. The massive noob! Everyone else, however, seems to be making good progress. Kuraksu halfway across. Mr. Zippy and Pengmak have made it into the lava water maze of doom. Which means, it is time to release the bloodthirsty crows! No, I am kidding, I'm not that cruel. And the only reason I'm not that cruel is because I don't know how to do that in Minecraft, if it even is possible. Which would be a little bit lovely. But, you know, ravenous bloodthirsty crows aside, I think the lava-bordered water vertical maze is evil enough for now. Mr. Zippy Pengmak making fairly good progress, only, well... I was about to say making fairly good progress, but then he promptly fell to his death. So one life down on the zippy, Geonosian still struggling with the parkour, blaming his computer. Again, what a massive noob! Bets are he's going to be the first person out. Kuraksu now, after taking a breather and pausing, because while this is a race, it's obviously best to, you know, make sure you're... Thoughts are fully gathered. Geonosian manages to go out without even completing the first obstacle. I know I've said it a few times, but I'll do it again. What a noob! So we return to the maze and Penmac, the absolute legend apparently, has managed to conquer the first two challenges without losing a single life. Well, it looks like I need to make things difficult. No, but can you imagine? That's the third challenge, everybody. I stab you. So we are at Torrential Bridge then. Can he pace himself, be patient, time his movements in order to avoid the blocks of lapis that want to send him screaming to a watery grave? It looks like he cannot, and down goes his first life. Meanwhile, Mr. Zippy is not far behind joining him with only one major turn left, and now he can drift nicely down to the bottom. Kuraksu, while still not dying, has not really made it too far. He's a little bit panicked. In the meantime, Penmak nearly made it halfway, but does lose his second life. Him and Mr. Zippy are really wanting this. You can feel it. You can feel it. I don't know what you can feel, but you should stop doing that. This is a public place, and that is disgusting. 
All right, Zippy, can you show Peng Mac up and doing it? Peng Mac watching him for tips. Zippy doing pretty damn well here. Is he going to go for it? Yes, he is making it there. Can he reach the halfway point where it gets a little bit trickier? He can. What a baller. But can he stand perfectly in between these two blocks or is he going to skip them both? That is the question. They are slightly off with each other and he just manages to get hit. Down he goes, losing his second life. These two are now both on very fine thread. Can Penmark match him or not? This Mr. Zippy calling bullshit. I'm not entirely sure. I've designed this very well. Kuraksu finally burning up in the maze and losing his first life, but he still has two to work with. So Penmark Oh, he nearly skips them both, but goes down and uh, has a uh, lovely bath in the drink. Is he slowly dying and being trapped in the lapis? That is a brutal way to go if I have ever seen one. Mr. Zippy going for it again. Is he still dying over there? <laughs> he's just slowly... <laughs> he's just slowly dying in the... <laughs> he's in the cobweb. Any second now. There it is. Peng Mac, his third life is gone. Mr. Zippy as well. Down he goes. He is gone as well. Technically speaking, Peng Mac will be the victor of this episode if Kuraksu does not beat the bridge, as he made it the furthest first. So now all eyes on him as he slowly drifts through, being very much the tortoise in this race, though if it will pay off for him, well, we don't really know. Keyword. Almost. <laughs> Key rod, in fact, is actually where I'm going here because I can't English. It's all a failure. Uh, Kiraksu, I mean, he's trying. He is trying. I feel like this is just, like, a little bit mean. Everybody's out. We're all just floating, watching this poor person slowly be tortured and burnt to death in a maze. I am looking forward to my attempt because each episode, I'm going to have one go at the tunnel and see how far I get. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, he so nearly went out there and managed to just save himself. <laughs> I somehow, guys, don't think we're going to be seeing the bridge getting conquered today. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's not going to happen. And there it is. The final burning takes place. So not one person graced the fan blades. I cannot wait for that to happen. So our winner today is... Not really, Zippy, but I mean, good good effort, you know, she in there. Good effort. All right, then. I am going to have uh, my one attempt at this and see if I cannot make myself proud and make my family proud and make everyone I know and love just so proud of me. So parkour, I emphasis, should be okay with because, you know, I spend a lot of my time doing parkour. You know, I live a very, very boring life, of course. Alright, so yes, the parkour bridge, pretty easy if I do say so myself, showing up Mr. Geonosian. So now I'm going to have a go at the maze which has slain so many of our contestants, and I want to know just what is so brutal about it. That is really the key here. Well, this looks to be completely the wrong way. Where is actually the correct way? Am I going crazy, or am I just completely wrong? Where am I? Whoa! Calm down, everybody! Calm down. I don't actually know the way through my own maze. Not that this is embarrassing, because I never claimed that I was going to do this quite well. I just said, I'm having a go, and there's a very big difference between that and what's going on here. So I do accidentally touch the lava a little bit there, so I guess I am... Um, where's the correct direction in this bloody maze? Am I going insane? Or is... I don't... <laughs> No idea where to go. Where was I? I went in there, up there, round, and then... Oh, I must have looked like a massive idiot. I was just floating around in here with no idea where to go. Well, I got defeated by my own mace. That is fair enough. Maybe I'll do a little bit better next time. So there you go, guys. That is the Tunnel of Terror. Tune in next time. If you want to see anybody maybe make it past the Torrential Bridge, or indeed if you want to have a go yourself, then simply hit me up on Twitter and or Facebook in the description. So, 
for everyone else, there's MasterCard. My name has been Rach. Remember to like if you've enjoyed this. It really will help me know if you guys want to see more of these types of episodes and subscribe for more. My name has been Rage. Oh, good. Why? So for everyone who's seen the game show or thinks that this should be quick build, let me just say that because the game show takes years between episodes and the Tunnel of Terror is so good, I think this can work by itself because it still is really good fun. So let me know if you'd like to see more of these. For those of you that are wondering why this is here instead of Quick Build, what I'm gonna do with Quick Build is instead of doing 1v1s every week alongside the four player one, I'm gonna wait until I have three winners of the four way one, and then I'm going to have a four way battle with them as the fourth, if that makes sense. So we really get more out of it and get to use the good arena more, which I feel is something we need to do. So let me know on that front. So yeah, that's really where I'm going with this. So for now, once again, a good boy.